Hi everyone, how are you? It is B, and welcome to my channel, Psychic Sounds by B. Thank you so much for joining me. We obviously are in a different location than we normally are. I have uh, increased the light so you can see these cards without any issues. And uh, my table is being taken up right now. So just want to let you know that. Thank you so much for all your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. I really do appreciate it. And for those of you that wish to subscribe to my channel, please make sure you click on that notification button, that little bell. Make sure that little bell is wiggling for all notifications so you'll be immediately notified when I post my videos. All right, everyone, let's go ahead and let's get into it. For those of you interested in a reading with me, purchasing a reading with me, uh, you can certainly go to the link below and purchase a reading at my website. All of the other things I have to offer are also in the description box below. Let's get into the reading for the 18th of December. Give or take two or three days, remember, it, Timing is very, very fluid. Let's see what we got. A couple more shuffles, we'll be ready to go. Bottom of the deck, Eight of Pentacles Reverse. This tells me that uh, someone is no longer willing to put effort into something. They're no longer willing to uh, work hard at a situation. This could also be sloppy work, work that isn't, you know, very good. It's, uh, it's not noteworthy in any way. This could also be mistakes at work. So that could be coming up as well. So let's see what we got going on here. Let's pray over the deck. All right, first card out is Ten of Pentacles reversed for the 18th. So um, something may be losing value. Uh, the home may be losing value. There may be difficulty. Uh, with stability and foundations within the home. Uh, this could also be where some people cannot make it to a gathering at the home, a reunion gets canceled. Something gets canceled, definitely, as it relates to the family. Uh, this could also be a legacy, a family legacy, that is kind of starting to um, go under. Okay, so say, for example, if you have a family legacy in whatever way that may be. Let's just say you're a celebrity and you have a whole family of celebrities and it just disappears out of nowhere. I mean, it's just all of a sudden it's just gone. So that family legacy is gone. Okay. So that could be what's happening here. But this could also be that someone is worried about whether or not they're going to be making enough money, uh, whether or not they can maintain the household, whether or not they're going to be able to um, get the money needed in order to buy a home. That could be coming through here as well. Brandon, what's your problem? The next card is Eight of Wands reversed. So this is not moving forward. This is a delay. This is not able to get things launched, not able to move things through in whatever way this makes sense to you. And so what's happening here is that there is an energy, I don't know why it's doing that, there is an energy that is just simply not moving forward. It's it's actually going backwards. Now this could definitely be because of Mars retrograde, but this is also the lack of fervor to move forward on a situation. This is restlessness in some cases. And it's so interesting. The family is not moving forward. The family is not traveling. Okay? Because the family's not traveling, there's dysfunction, there's discord within the family. Wow, Ace of Swords. However, 
However, something breaks through the confusion. Something breaks through the clouds. There's a victory. There's a success. Somebody doesn't see this coming yet. I feel like someone's getting a message right around the 18th of December. It has to do with a victory. It has to do with cutting through the BS. It has to do with truth. It has to do with success, victory. Also, this has to do with the energy of... Let's see here. This also has to do with the energy of an idea, a talk, getting on the same page, pushing forward, even though things may have not been so successful in the past. Things were, it was a hard time getting it launched. Of course, I mean, it's Mars retrograde. What does anybody expect? But some sort of message is coming in on the 18th that it there's a break like there's this someone gets a call someone gets a letter someone gets a notification oh my gosh we're moving forward again or oh my gosh we have something to consider now and it looks like we're going to move forward now i would not recommend anybody sign on that final dotted line until after the holidays preferably after the 18th when both mercury and mars are going direct but this is definitely, definitely coming through. Some sort of information is coming through. Fascinating. Let's see what else is coming up. The magician. Oh, yeah. Here it is. So if there was some, some sort of energy that has been stalled, that has not been good, that has been... Gosh, are we ever going to get out of this? Why does this happen to us all the time? All of a sudden, boom, it happens. And it's an energy of manifestation and creation. And it's so interesting that this energy here is because of this Ten of Pentacles reversed. So... Someone is able to manifest because someone else is not be able to is not able to, or someone is manifesting because the family is too um, the the family dynamic is too unstable. Brandon, why are you crying? You're just doing it for attention. Come over here and say hi. Come over here and say hi. Say hi, everybody. Say hi, my name is Brandon. Can you see over here? Say hi, my name is Brandon. Yeah, my name is Brandon. I'm very interested in this reading. Because I'm a whiner. Because I'm a whiner and I want attention. Yeah, I want attention. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, you may have someone in your life, in your family, that is really bothering you because they constantly demand attention. They constantly need to be um, comforted and told everything's going to be okay. It's not the end of the world. You know, it's like you're telling someone, please just stay optimistic in this situation. But again, the reason why this is manifesting also is because maybe the family dynamic is way too, um, it's getting out of control. It's getting too big. It's getting overwhelming. So something needs to happen and there needs to be movement in some other direction. So where someone wants movement and wants victory due to a family issue. Now, it doesn't have to be bad. It could simply be that the family needs to make a change. And that change comes through, but then it manifests for someone else. Okay? Got all the tools you need. Everything's ready to go. All the I's are dotted. All the T's are crossed. Someone is creating and manifesting potentially because of someone else's misfortune or because someone else needs to make a change very quickly. What is the next card? Aw, Six of Cups. Children, soulmates. How sweet. 
Just like Brandon wants to be part of all of everything we do. Don't you, Brandon? Yes, you do. So um, what's happening here is someone wants to create something. Someone wants to ground something. Someone wants to stabilize a family situation because they're with their soulmate. They want to work. They want to offer. They want to show that they're in it to win it. Okay? That's what this is. Now, this may also be some sort of instability as it relates to the children. Okay? The children are fine. Don't get me wrong. But the children may be the reason why there needs to be a change. Okay? Maybe somebody's getting too big for their britches. Who knows? You know, this could be something as simple as, oh my gosh, our family's getting huge. Um, you know, we need to we need to make accommodations. We need to build, you know, an addition onto the home. We need to get a new home. Something like that. But there is some sort of movement here. There is some sort of victory. There is some sort of success. There is some sort of clearing of this very confounding foggy energy it's starting to clear the 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 clouds are parting okay that's what i'm seeing here someone could be manifesting their soulmate to be honest with you some of you want somebody to break up so you can be with your soulmate again i don't know if that's going to happen but maybe for some of you it will This energy is changing, though, because this is success and victory. So after a period of stagnation, success and victory, manifestation, and all of a sudden, oh, thank goodness. The kindness, the love, the... Wow, I'm hearing... Um, someone is neurotic, okay? So, and, and the Gemini, or the magician is a Gemini, and Geminis can tend to be neurotic. So, I'm wondering, I'm wondering because something was not moving forward as quickly as it possibly could have. Someone was getting neurotic about it, but then all of a sudden something happens, and now peace is restored. Okay, that could very well be. Yeah, Four of Cups reverse. I love this. Someone is ready to take the offer. Now, I think what happened, though, is that someone wasn't paying attention. They're like, oh, you know, it's never going to happen. Nothing's ever going to change. We're stuck. This is just the way it's going to be. And all of a sudden, they open up their email or they look at their missed calls on their phone. And like, oh, my gosh, we're moving forward. And so when that happens, there's this. We can't ignore this. We're going to really have to take a strong look at this because this is breaking us out of the stagnation and we can manifest and we can be happy again. We just have to make a decision. That's what I'm seeing here. Okay. Let's see what else is happening for the 18th. Yeah, I think, I think three days is going to pass. Three days will pass. Maybe three hours, maybe three weeks, but... To me, it seems like three days will pass where someone is like, nothing's happening, nothing's happening. And then someone's like, well, would you just check? And then they check and it's like, oh my gosh, there's the offer. Okay, so um, it's for some reason someone is not, this just fell out upright. Someone is ready to go. Someone's ready to take a risk. Someone's ready to say, okay, uh, we're going to throw caution into the wind. We're taking it. We're going. We're moving. Okay. Time to pack the bags and get out. Or travel light, okay? Get things going. Get things moved. All right, let's get these clarifiers going, see what's going on here. Why this energy is here. I think somebody, I think somebody's getting a big surprise. I think somebody is like, finally. Or someone is saying, I can't believe it. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. It's happening. It's what I see. It's just what I see. I just don't think the family's been happy about it. 
up to this point because they feel like they've been stuck. No movement forward. See what this is all about. Three of Cups, Upright, Celebration. What did I say? There is going to be a celebration. There is going to be a gathering. There is going to be congratulations. You did it. Now, I think what's happening here, perhaps for some of you, we've got an Aries and we've got a Gemini person. And I think what may have happened here, now you don't have to be an Aries or a Gemini. You can just exhibit those characteristics of the fire sign or the air sign. I think someone in the family was putting out a bunch of negative energy. Completely neurotic, constantly complaining, worried about everything. But either this Gemini or this Aries person came in and said, would you just stop worrying about it, please? They stop worrying about it for three days. And while they let that go, they let that energy go and they just live in the moment and say, you know what, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. All of a sudden it happens. There's the offer coming in. Because the four of cups reversed is someone who, has ta who is taking the offer. Four of cups upright is someone who doesn't see the offer. Four of cups reversed is someone is saying, I'm going to stop worrying about this so much and putting so emotion into so much emotion into it and they see the offer coming instead of being consumed by other things let's go ahead and pray over the deck This is why the Ten of Pentacles is reversed. This is why the Eight of Wands is reversed. This is why the Ace of Swords is upright. This is why the Magician is upright. This is why the Six of Cups is upright. And this is why the Four of Cups is reversed. So, what's going on? Why is the Ten of Pentacles reversed? Because of an offer. A Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio is bringing an offer in and it's disrupting the family. Like I said before, I knew there was an offer coming through here. Um, this happens rather quickly because it's the first card out. The offer is boom, right there on the 18th. And it throws the family into a little bit of a tizzy. Okay, this is like someone saying, hey, everyone, for Christmas, we're, we're going to go to, we're going to fly to the Caribbean. And everybody's like, What? And they got to get everything figured out and they're just all in a tizzy. Okay, that's just one example. But an offer is coming in and it's causing the family to either feel remorse in some way or feel like they're losing something that's dear to their heart. There's a lot of memories associated with it, definitely with uh, the uh, Six of Cups here. There's memories associated with childhood, losing a childhood home. Okay, because some type of offer is coming through. Why is the Eight of Wands reversed? Ah, the Sun reversed. So the reason why things did not move forward, the reason why things were stopped, was because maybe this child is neurotic. Maybe this child is not happy. Maybe this child doesn't want to leave. Uh, but this could also be maybe someone didn't want to start something new. They, they were worried. They didn't think that this was going to amount to anything. This is codependence. A lot of codependence. When the sun is upright, that's independence. That's liberation. Someone was not ready emotionally to liberate themselves from a situation. They were not ready to let go. But when the Ace of Swords comes in, that Ace of Swords says it's time to let go. Something is going to be forcing this family, this person to let go of a situation. This is also a Leo reversed. A Leo reversed is someone who's very egomaniacal, a very drama ridden. Uh, they are very um, 
attention seeking. I find it interesting that, you know, Brandon wanted all that attention at the beginning of the video. This is someone who needs attention. Absolutely needs attention all the time. Okay. But here comes the sword. The sword is saying, let go, let go, cut it out, get rid of it. It's no longer needed. Be victorious, be successful. Why is that here? The hermit. A Virgo person, a physician, or an advisor is telling someone, you must, at this time, do this thing. It is important for you to be successful and to be victorious. It also is someone who's doing the research. So someone has done the research. They've looked at the numbers, so to speak. And... They're coming through with a truthful result. And when someone realizes the situation they're in with this truthful result, they then realize that they can have success, they can have victory, and they have to cut something out of their life. Perhaps it is something that has a lot of nostalgia and family energy associated with it. Why is the magician here? Oh, there you go. <clears throat> Excuse me. Six of cups reverse. The kids are not happy. The kids are not happy where they're at. The kids are causing issues. But because the kids are causing issues, it's so interesting. It's like, it's like, the family is unhappy because of unhappy kids. They are not able to express themselves. They feel like they're being restricted. They feel like they're being um, overwhelmed. They feel like they're they're not able to express themselves. So when this happens, someone finally says, okay, that's it. We have to do something about this dysfunction in the family regarding the children. We do have an offer coming in. What are we going to do? Because from letting go of the past comes the manifestation. Six of Cups reverse, letting go of the past. Manifestation with the magician. So when someone lets go of the past, here comes the manifestation. And it's interesting. Once this manifestation happens, after someone lets go of the past, Boom. Now they're happy again. Now they're able to truly appreciate what they've been through, what they've experienced in their lives. They're looking at the past with glee. They're looking at the past with appreciation. So why is this here? Ooh, the Empress, the mother. The mother is coming in to set the record straight. Remember the Empress, the Empress is the queen of all queens. She's the nurturer, she's the giver, but it doesn't mean she doesn't discipline. It doesn't mean that. I think the person perhaps that is getting the notification is the mother, is the mother energy. Because this success and this victory is coming through from the mother to tell the children of this success or this victory or what needs to be cut out in order for the family to be more abundant and happier possibly related to an offer so the empress comes in now this could be somebody on the outside as well the empress is the manifester take a look 
you've got the magician and you've got the empress. They are both massive manifestors. And the empress knows the way of the magician. She creates, okay, somebody might be pregnant again. That could be what this is. This empress is having more children and they're growing out of their home. They've got more children coming. And she's pregnant. And they need a bigger house. They need to be so they have to sell their house. Now, granted, there's a lot of memories associated with that house, but it's time to go. It's time to let it go. So I think the mother is saying, enough is enough. We need a bigger house. <laughs> for some of you, not all of you, but for some of you, for others of you, this could be someone outside of the mother figure. This could just be another empress that is just floating around the ethers around you and they're making changes in their life to create and to manifest and when they do that in some way it affects you because they want to manifest something so it's like your manifestation and their manifestation is aligning so it's a win-win situation so so everybody wins and everybody has to take a little bit of a risk why is someone finally making this choice? Why is someone finally saying, all right, let's look at this. Let's seriously consider this. Why is this happening? Ah, the four of swords reversed. Unbelievable. Four of cups, four of swords. What's four of swords reverse? Four of swords upright is meditating, taking hiatus, giving up, resting, not putting any energy into it. The Four of Cups reversed is removing oneself from apathy and boredom. So something happened where someone decided to say, you know what, we can't give up on this. We just can't. Maybe somebody prayed about it. Uh, maybe they had other people praying for them. And then all of a sudden, here comes the manifestation. Here comes the movement. And everybody in the end is abundant. I love this reading because it shows how even in the most difficult of times, just don't give up. Keep the faith. Keep a positive attitude. Manifest because once you put it out there, universe hears it. Universe is going to ping it and it's going to go all over the place. And so I think the clue or the hint here was that someone in this situation just gives up. They're like, that's it. I've had it. I'm not even going to think about this anymore. But when they do that, here comes the offer. Here it comes. And they're not expecting it. A family is not expecting it at all. Now, I know I gave you several stories here, but I hope you can understand what I'm getting at. I hope you like this reading. I wish all of you the best. Much light, much love, many blessings, and catch you on the flip side.